that you. So, you have all this stuff right here. Um, by the way, I'm going to also add a link for the receivers and the emitter and it's going to appear right here um, again a small rectangle you can click on and it's going to take you to Amazon um, and uh, you can you know take a look at it um, actually I also um, made sure that at least it flashes and I think the emitters and the receiver are all from the same store so you even cut down on shipping costs I think the Adorama uh, rings these are separate. Um, so, I'm going to take a test shot, and actually, after I take the set test shot, you're going to get another um, small rectangle on, on the video where you can click, and it's going to take you actually to the picture I'm going to take right now. So, you can take a look at the results of using this gear to take the picture. First, well, I, it's useless. I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to uh, do it without the flashes. If I were to do it without the flashes right now with uh, the way I'm taking it and, and I'm regulating the F right here, the aperture, and it's very low. If I take the picture right now, even if you know I have this light right here on my table, um, it's not enough to light up what I'm going to photograph. And you're just going to get a black shot. That's all you're going to see. Black. Nothing else. With the flashes, I get enough light to light up an almost natural looking uh, light, uh, the thing I'm going to photograph. So again, right after I take the picture, you're going to see a small rectangle, and it's going to have a link to take a look at the picture I'm about to take. So, make sure everything's on. Let's hope it keeps working. This is, <laughs> this is cheap gear. Okay, that look pretty nice. I'm gonna take another one. Actually, um, what I'm photographing is uh, uh, the insides of a small uh, alarm remote for the cam for the car, which stopped working, so I took it apart. This is also gonna have a link. It's not a good picture, but it's got good lighting. All right, these three pictures you're going to be able to look at uh, when you click on those uh, small rectangles with links on them, and you can see what you can do with this gear. Again, you got. Um, I'm going to add also the links to the description of the video. So you got the receivers with the emitter that works on an infrared channel. You got three small, very cheap flashes. And you got the two half rings, which I put together. By the way, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you right here. What I did is these two pieces, this is of one half ring and this is of the other half ring. And you can take a look at the way I screwed them on. I'm gonna add another picture of the gear itself um, that you can, um, you know, you can take a look at with more detail as to how I screwed it on. Um, so a rectangle is gonna appear now, I guess, and you're gonna have a link for that um, for several views of this gear and the way I screwed on these two rings. As you can see, they're screwed in. This is one half ring and this is the other half ring. It's kind of twisted a bit because I, I spread it out a little bit. An advantage also of this, um, these two half rings is that you can actually, if I wanted to, I could move these forward a bit and you can even have the lights farther ahead uh, in case you wanted to add more stuff right here like more extension rings or whatever to take pictures. So that's it.
this is a very cheap version of um, a well a ring light also you know um, there's uh, something that's called a ring light which is actually a light that goes around here um, and of course the dual speed light uh, setup like the R1C1 or there, there are many other things that you could buy in Amazon or in um, specialized camera stores to um, solve the lighting issue for macro photography. This is one version, very cheap, not high quality, very generic, but very cheap. So, if you like what you see right here, if you have questions regarding how to put it together, um, or whatever it is you want to know about this, just um, you know, write a comment. And um, if you like, and I would hope you do it, go to my site. The link is right there as well, and you can take a look at all the macro photography I've been doing, which includes water splashes, um, insects, plants, and other stuff like that. Macro photography is a lot of fun, but one of the biggest things again is light and this is one way to solve it just one way all right hope you enjoyed the video I tend to talk a lot but I hope I gave you enough information and that you could emulate this or maybe make something even better that kind of comment will also be very welcome you know contribute information let's help each other out all right that's it thanks a lot